in the East Bay, the search is on for the gunman who opened fire near a popular Walnut Creek nightclub. One person died, three others are hurt. It happened near the Spoon Tonic Lounge, and KPIX 5's Da Lynn spoke with witnesses who say the club was packed and there were several fights before the shooting. Da. That's right, Julia. The club is back there, but the shooting happened in this area, this part of the parking lot. Witnesses say a gunman was standing in this area shooting his gun toward a car that was trying to leave this parking lot. They say that car somehow reversed and backed right into this light pole, hence the damage to the tail light, as you can see on the ground here. They say the gunman kept shooting at the people inside the car as they were running away from that car. It is this could have most likely been avoided. This club goer is emotional and shaken up. Her car is riddled with bullet holes. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm blessed. The shooting happened near her car in a parking lot as she was hanging out with a friend inside Spoon Tonic Lounge. Many customers out for the first time since the COVID lockdown. Everybody was having a great time. The drinks were flowing. The girls were coming. It was great. They say more than 50 people were dancing and drinking in the small packed club. This is one of the few places that's opened up and has stayed up until 2 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. so a lot of people show up to party and have fun while people were having fun inside customers saw multiple fights outside throughout the evening including this fight that happened before the shooting it's unclear if the fight was connected to the shooting just after 1 30. i saw his uh, lower abdomen and uh, i saw a couple of bullet wounds and i was like yeah dude i i can't look at that he was in pain groaning and he, very scared. You can tell that just like a girl. Police say one person died at the scene. Paramedics rushed three others with gunshot wounds to the hospital. Wana Creek police searched around the club and nearby businesses for the shooter. It was, it was madness, man. Police shut down SOS Drive and parts of North Main Street for much of Sunday morning to collect evidence. The popular bar and club has been around for many years. The owner released a statement. We are deeply shocked and saddened by this. We hate any kind of violence, especially one that's in our community. Our prayers are with the family of the victim. You think it's like a safe area? So coming here to Walnut Creek and seeing someone get shot, it's like, oh, well, Things have changed around here. People are so quick to just, you know, take somebody else's life. That's, I don't even know how you do that, but, you know, especially off of just one night out, you know, having a good time. Why, why do you, you know, why do you go out for what? So, Da, did police release any information or even a description about the gunman? Yeah, Walnut Creek Police did not release too much information about the shooting or about the suspect. We did hear from witnesses that he at one point was inside the club. They said he was kicked out. As for the victim who was shot and killed, Walnut Creek Police also did not release the person's name. We do know that this is the second homicide in the city of Walnut Creek uh, in this year so far. Yeah, certainly shook a lot of people up last night. All right, Daw, thank you.